Sorry, my spider senses were just tingling. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. Look at that, look at a little bit of hair coming down. Hey, like, like DiCaprio back in the day, I don't know why. Uh, welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. Today we're going to take a look at my favourite Marvel mutant characters. Um, no mutates, just straight up born a mutant and only mu mutants from the Marvel Universe. Kicking things off, we've got a Charles Xavier. Yes, one of the world's most powerful minds. Oh, just what a cool guy. I'd love that guy to sit down and teach me because if he was a naughty kid in his class, he's like, oh, go away, sir. I don't want to do my homework. He'd just be like, heads popped off. <laughs> Make sure you do your homework then, wouldn't you? Charles Xavier is just an awesome mutant. He's a great mentor. He's a great leader. You know, around cool guy. Mother Russia, Colossus. Uh, I will, I will do a whole segment in Russian. No, no I won't, because that will start to do everybody's ending. But yes, Colossus, the man that can turn his skin to steel. What an awesome ability to have. Really hard to, to stop if he gets some momentum built up and he's charging at you. He gets your strength. He can stop some attacks. Oh, and he's, you know, he's, he's got a bit of sense of humor with the, with, the, with the whole persona and character. He's a cool guy. So Colossus is input in his way on the list. Another strong, unstoppable force. I'm the Jaggernaut, bitch! Yeah, Vinnie Jones, what a what an awesome casting choice. I'm not even sarcastic as well, that was amazing. Um, but no, the Jaggernaut, unstoppable when he builds up all that momentum. It's just smashing his way through a thing. Helmet blocks all these mental attacks. He's went up against Spidey, so you know, he's obviously, you know, you gotta have respect to go up against Spidey. But it's just great to see uh, a strong, really powerful person that's not as strong as the Hulk but is still formidable formidable for people like the X-Men to go up against the Spy to go up against it's just a rampaging lunatic the first mutant apocalypse now this guy is just so scary because of how powerful he is I could sit here and list off his, his, his abilities and powers for the whole list you know intelligence manipulate matter shapeshift invulnerable Invulnerability, is that the right word? Invincible and stuff. <laughs> um, you can manipulate other powers. Telekinetic. Oh, list goes on and on and on. Plus, he's like the OG mutant, the, the god mutant. So, you've got to give the guy some respect. Manami Gambit. Great impression, as always. Um, manipulating kinetic energy and stuff. <laughs> Just chucking a card to you. I'd love to be at a card game with him. I mean, he cheats and stuff, so I wouldn't, but I would because, like, he'd just be like, hey, and he'd get his little staff out. What an awesome ability to have, what a cool character, what a fun character a lot of people can just get behind and root for. Ah, and the accent just pure does it for us, it's just crazy. But Gambit, he is on the list, one of me. Nightcrawler. Just like Apocalypse, but not as many. I could sit and list off his abilities, you know. Great durability, great flexibility, great agility, um, can stick to walls, obviously you can teleport. The whole bamf, bamf, I love in comic books reading bamf. <laughs> he's a great fencer, which is why I use the picture with the sword. He's just a cool character, um, the night vision, uh, just lurking in the shadows. Even though he's a nice, somewhat gentle guy, um, it's still quite creepy if you were going around as a bad guy and he's there lurking in the shadows and you just look up and there's this little demon-y thing. Ooh. But yeah, Nightcrawler's cool, it's fudge. This man needs no introduction. Magneto. Now, Magneto... <laughs> some people can argue if he's a bad guy or not. He just wants to defend his species and he's sick of humans, you know, calling mutant freaks, trying to kill them, trying to get stuff happen to them. You can see where he comes from trying to defend them and stuff. Maybe he just goes about it the wrong way. He should be more diplomatic like Charles. But no... The man of magnetism, the, the, it, he just get magnets, metal, smash your head in. He's seriously, seriously, OG, OP, Magneto. Now we're going to the Summers family tree. No, not Cyclops. Go away, Cyclops. We're on about your big bro, Havoc. Yes, Havoc. He's just a cool character. And plus, it's really awesome that he's immune to, um, 
Cyclops' blasts. <laughs> Get away, Cyclops. Uh, I can't stand Cyclops. Uh, it's really cool, though, the way he gets his ability. Uh, energy blast, you know, comes up and he chucks it around, chucks it. He can, he can absorb cosmic energy, which is pretty cool. He's a good fighter. Um, he's one of the OG, you know, X-Men from years ago. So he's, he's way up there. Now we've got Beast. Now Beast I just love because he wants to be a diplomat, he wants to be friendly, he wants to be all cuddly and warm. He's really smart, he can use his brain for great offense or just to build any sort of tech or help Tony Stark or Reed Richards with any sort of tech. But when he wants to, he can be super vicious, aggressive, strong and just dominate in loads of different fights. Plus he's acrobatic, he can swing off stuff. As an all-rounder, he really is quite powerful, so the Beast, shot up there to number two. Yeah, this one is just completely obvious in that, yeah, Wolverine. He will definitely make, if anybody makes a top ten list of Marvel mutants or mutants, Wolverine's in the top ten, but probably to everybody's top five. Wolverine is fucking amazing. You've got the amazing backstory, you've got the amazing stories that he's involved with today. Um, You've got the cinematic uh, adaptation of him with Hugh Jackman just owning that role. <sighs> and he will forever be entwined with Wolverine. You've got the darkness, you've got the goriness, you've got the whole 18 plus smoking cigar. They're not giving an F bomb. <sighs> He's just a savage. He's a badass. I love Wolverine. That was my list of Marvel mutants and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um... Yeah, it was a fun list, a list to, a list to make. Uh, there is a lot of stupid mutants on there. Blob, Mojo, um, Toad. There's a few of them. Just crap. <laughs> but these are the ten that I find the coolest. If you disagree, let us know down below. Um, yeah. Thank you so much lately for the love and support. Hitting 55 subs. The Beals introduction to the channel has, has gone off really well. You guys obviously really like him on the videos. Um, he can't do loads and loads and loads, but he's going to try and do as many as he possibly can, which is sick as fuck. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe, like if you don't mind, and uh, see y'all next time. The Brotherhood are kicking off. I am so cool.